Now, it seems as though one of the few things that both sides actually agreed on today was that money was the motive in this case. Now, Jermaine Jackson, who was allegedly the brains behind this money-making operation, was the first of five defendants to go on trial today for the murder of Danny De Janeiro back in December of 2011. Danny De Janeiro, a beloved musician, father, and friend, was killed at his Levittown home with one single shot to the chest. Jermaine Jackson is charged with criminal homicide and related charges. If convicted, he will serve a life sentence, something that prosecutors are hopeful about. So far, so good. I am confident. But one of the main questions is should Jackson go down for murder one if he did not actually kill De Janeiro? According to defense attorney Penn Glace, that answer is no. Well, in opening statements, uh, I think that both the Commonwealth and the defense agree that Breon Powell is the individual who is responsible for killing uh, Danny DeGennaro. He admits that Jackson is a drug dealer, but he is no killer. Jermaine was present in the home for the purpose of uh, transacting uh, narcotics with the victim. This was allegedly a five-person job, a drug deal gone wrong. Jackson was the one who put together the crew, and according to prosecutor Matt Weintraub, Kazir Gist was the muscle, Tatiana Henderson was the lookout, and Denisha Baker was the getaway driver, leaving Breon Powell as the one who released the bullet that ultimately killed De Janeiro. Weintraub declared today that Henderson and Baker have turned against the other defendants and are going to testify for prosecution. But according to the defense attorney, they are desperate. They have every reason to lie. They, they have, um, in his opening and during jury selection, Mr. Weintraub indicated that they have a vested interest in the outcome of this case because their liberty is at stake. There is also a Levittown Vows Justice for Danny De Janeiro Facebook page. Fans flock to it to stay up to date on what is going on with the case. Today, we also heard statements from De Janeiro's daughter, his roommate who was home at the time but did not hear the shot, his neighbor who received a random call from one of the defendants prior to the confrontation, and the police officers who worked the investigation. Trial for Jackson will resume tomorrow morning. Now the other defendants, Kazir Gist and Breon Powell, will be going on trial in June. There is still no court date set for the last two defendants, Tatiana Henderson of Ben Salem and Denisha Baker of Morrisville. Reporting from Doylestown, I'm Alex Finney.